This is a quick video about how to import into Houdini Apprentice, which is a free rendering animation, etc. piece of software. And let's just grab something from here. And let's say it's this house. And I'll also make it interesting by adding a uh, one of these physically based rendering uh, export library kind of thing. So just a second here and I'll explain a bit more. Okay, let's call it uh, let's call it house. And you can't see the whole dialogue there. You can see the whole dialogue. You just hit OK. And this will take a little bit, uh, especially because it's this high res texture set. So it's going to take a bit of time to export all this. But what it's doing is it's exporting a bunch of different textures that Houdini um, will recognize, like not only just colors, but normal maps and metallic and stuff like that. So we're done with this and we can close Mineways down. That, that part of the job is over. So what you want to do is you start up Houdini Apprentice. You have to go here and pick Solaris. And what that does is allows you to input files of this type USD, which is a file format that Pixar has been using, uh, been developing, and uh, other film companies are picking up on. So go here. Go to wherever you put your file, and there's there's the file. Accept, and whoa, that's a <laughs> that's certainly jumpy. Um, anyway, let's see. Maybe if I resize, it'll be a little less jumpy. That's an interesting little bug on uh, Houdini's part. Anyway, Houdini has this um, uh, sort of odd thing of being zoomed in on. Uh, a location. So what you have to do is hold down Alt and then you use the scroll wheel and that takes you out. Um, you can also hold down Alt by the way and with middle mouse you'll pan around, with left mouse you'll uh, you'll rotate. And so anyway, so now we have this model. It looks very dark. It's like, oh that looks broken, right? Um, the trick is, is you have to go find the two light sources that come exported automatically and just turn those off. So you can do that. Or you could just delete these light sources entirely. But for whatever reason, Houdini doesn't like those light sources. So let's um, let's rotate to a somewhat better view. Maybe zoom in a bit. And so anyway, so we have this. It's kind of bland. Um, but you basically have the model in here now. And you can do things like, for example, we could add distant light. And uh, it's a little bit hard to see in this thing. And maybe what I'll do is I'll just make this screen bigger because I don't really care about the rest of the screen at this point. So there, now we can see it. We have this object, this light, and the, uh, yeah, there's our light, distant light. And what I can do here is rotate it. And I never quite know where to go with the rotation on this, but uh, if you look closely, if you have really good eyes, you can sort of see this thing has a little grid on it, like a little set of arrows, and they're pointing sort of down at this point. So now we have some light coming in this way. And so anyway, we, we have it lit. Um, the cool thing is, is that you can actually then use the Karma Renderer, and it takes a few seconds to get it going. Um, but it's basically this progressive ray tracer now. So you can now see real shadows. Uh, there's these torches that are brightly lit because they actually have an emissive um, texture on them, and so on and so forth. Is that if you get in close to these, you'll see these things have a, a more elaborate textures with like normals and whatnot. Anyway, that's about it. I just wanted to show those basic commands to get you going with Houdini and uh, have fun.